Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of May 2020. All right, in regards to your finances and money, let's see. All right, you have the Seven of Wands. All right. Okay, Aquarius, in regards to your finances, um, what Spirit is telling you here with the Seven of Wands is be very careful uh, when it comes to lending, when it comes to borrowing money, when it comes to even giving money away. Uh, it could be that you feel like you're doing it as a favor to someone, but be very practical about it. Make sure that you are set. Make sure that you are taken care of when i when i say that what they're trying to say here is make sure that all your responsibilities are taken care of before you actually help someone else although it may come from a good place what spirit is telling you is you got to make sure that you're good first you got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself before you're able to take care of someone else this could also represent um coming or ending in a situation where perhaps something is promised to you and the counterpart doesn't really um, either accommodate that agreement or uh, they kind of try to hide uh, to be able to render the result that you were expecting. So when they say that it could represent like lending money and then the person later on doesn't really want to pay you back. So again, be careful with that. Um, in regards to your finances. Now, in regards to your communication sector, how you're going to be communicating for the month of May, you have the Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, you may have uh, either concluded or ended, ended some type of connection, some type of relationship, whether it was family, whether it was a relationship itself. Uh, I definitely do see someone walking away, and it could have been uh, because uh, in regards to communicating how you're going to communicate for this month i see you guys extremely emotional and for some of you guys it could even represent like feeling lonely um so my advice to you guys is if you are currently experiencing this know and understand that right now everyone on a global scale is experiencing a lot of anxiety in regards to what's going on out there and everything you know everything seems to be uh turning in a very different direction so i think that a lot of people are really emotional um even those of you guys that are introverts um at some point in time i feel that it's kind of taking the or getting the best of you only because there's a feeling of like lack of that type of like emotional connection so uh, i don't know if i'm picking up on that or what they're saying here is that there was some type of ending and someone walked away from a connection uh, so you may be very extremely emotional for this month. Although I do see you guys walking towards new beginnings. So this is definitely not completely negative. This is a beautiful thing. Sometimes we got to make a decision. Sometimes we got to walk away from situations or people that are no longer good for us. And that's absolutely okay. Do not feel like you have to water yourself down to be able to get along or to be able to be around a specific type of energy that no longer is serving you okay all right so in regards to your challenge for this month of may you have wow you have the ace of wands so the ace of wands signifies to me as a challenge there's no particular challenge here other than uh being excited um you got to recharge your batteries aquarius and be excited about the future even if it means that you're feeling a little bit like the future may be a little bit bleak or we may be experiencing a lot of challenges in reality what spirit is telling you is no there's no challenge here other than being able to keep yourself in an optimistic type of mood or trying the best you can to be positive around those people that are around you that are not necessarily being uh, very excited about the future the ace of wands can also represent um not willing to give an opportunity that arises a chance so this could be in love this could be in romance this could be in new opportunities to make money what they're telling you is keep your options open and don't be very quick to dismiss as you may actually miss out on a grand opportunity that comes your way okay all right aquarius let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance okay so we have the hermit card so again 
with the hermit and the eight of cups i feel that someone walked away from some type of communication or some type of relationship and there is a lot of internalizing for some of you guys it could be internalizing trying to understand why you're being pulled towards a specific person so when i say that is because with the ace of wands i feel that for some of you guys you may start to feel certain type of connection or being pulled towards a specific person and perhaps this person could be someone in your surroundings. It could be a friend. It could be uh, someone that knows your family, your relatives. Um, and perhaps you didn't see them in that specific light at some point. But now they're kind of like popping out or popping in your head. And you're kind of wondering or questioning, why am I feeling this type of way? And what they're telling you is it could have been because you were very elusive. You were very focused on the outcome you wanted in a specific relationship or partnership it didn't pan out and this person happens to be in your surroundings where now it's kind of like you're being able to see them in a different light so again what they're saying here is basically uh keep your options open okay don't be very dismissive even when it comes to if you're constantly thinking of a specific person you don't know why what they're telling you is you may be surprised <laughs> all right so let's see what spirit's message is as a whole thing spirit guides what are the specific message that you want to come or bring across for aquarius sun moon rising and venus for this month of may 2020 the specific message please okay all right, so you have man holding a coin. So for some of you guys, um, doesn't have to represent a man. This is a general reading. But I do see someone bringing an offering or someone, um, or this could be you, Aquarius, giving an offering to someone else. Like I said, someone that perhaps at some point uh, you weren't as attracted or you weren't as interested. And I see you very much interested in the specific person. So again, this is an offering. This is almost like the Ace of Pentacles. And you have two aces here. And with the man holding a coin, this is a love offering that's coming through for you guys. So keep your eyes open, your ears open, and your heart open. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.